beautiful humanoids of Earth, it is I, Christina Nakaya, here at Fit and Bendy in Los Angeles. This video is for all of you who've been consistently training your splits and you're really close to getting all the way down, but touchdown seems elusive. You've been stuck in one place for a while, not far off the floor, and you're starting to get a little crazy. This is a common problem. It's also a common place where people get injured because you get so excited to get close to the floor, you just start to push yourself down as hard as you can, maybe get your friend to come and stand on your split. And because of that impatience, it's really easy to push yourself a little too far too fast. What we're going to do is put gravity back into the equation of what you're doing in your splits by going into an over split, by elevating your front foot. This takes your body back up off the ground and brings gravity back into play to help you get deeper into that split. Then when you take that block away, getting down to the floor feels a lot easier. Now for this workout, you're going to need three yoga blocks like these. If you don't have these, grab a stack of books and two soup cans. You're also going to want one of those blocks to be able to slide on the floor, so a piece of fabric underneath a block or a piece of cardboard is going to help that happen. If you're new to splits, we have plenty of videos linked for you to prepare for splits and start training them. And you can like and subscribe to our channel in order to be continually updated with all of our flexibility tidbits. If you have been training and you want to do it, please give yourself a good solid warm up using our videos or your own method and then grab your yoga blocks and meet me on the floor. So here's the situation. You are so close to getting all the way down in your split, but you're not quite there. We are going to do an over split. Let's set it up. So I am going to fold my mat over just to create a little bit more of a nice cushion for my back knee and make space for my block to slide. I've made this setup for my block where my block is sitting on top of a piece of fabric so that it slides pretty easily on the floor. If you are on carpet, go ahead and put it on a piece of cardboard. All right, and I'm going to grab my blocks to support my body just like I would going in and out of my regular split. And my front foot is going to go on that block. And I'm going to go in and out of my split just like I do without the block. Only you will notice that as you go deeper with the block, that less of your body is going to be on the floor, which enables you to start to go deeper. So the idea here is, if this is my normal split without my foot elevated, I can now use this extra room that I've created to go deeper down towards the floor. So I can do my slides in and out here, and then I can hang out in this position just like I would in a regular split and really use this extra space created by the block to increase my flexibility then. When I get rid of that block and I go into my flat split, oh, oh, child's play really, it's so easy. It's like I hardly feel it at all because that over split has prepared me to get all the way down. So fear not the over split. If you've been practicing your splits regularly and you're close, you are ready for that over split. It's going to really change your game and up your ability to increase your flexibility. If you have not been tra training your splits regularly, please do that first before trying this gimmick at home. All right, everybody, thanks for watching and take care and many beautiful happy bendings.